Already lost one video, I don't want to lose another one. Right. The next one is this Norfolk and Good Centennial Smash. Look at that. Mm. Looks like Barry that. It's painted green. Let's give it a crack. Oh now I think this is the one that was dry hot for forty days. Jesus, mother of where? Give her a paw. That is looking crystal clear, Barry. We'll stop it there and look at that. Ahead. Ahead. Hurrah, hurrah. Good carbonation. Good and clear. So, appearance. Um, it's quite light on the quite light on the colour and uh, and there is a head it's only a diddy one so appearance give it a four so aroma centennial dry hot for 40 days uh, what is this 6.5 percent oh is quite nice. I'm getting like tropical fruits off of this one. Uh, zesty as well. Citrus oh, and like a, uh, a sticky sweetness of the of the smell. Not too strong, not overpowering at all. Um, you have to really get your nose in it to smell it. So out of five, I'll give it a three. It doesn't smell like there's anything there that shouldn't be there. Whew, beautiful. Right, flavour. I know I'm keeping these short, guys, but, you know, they're late. And I've got to get them uploaded and shit like that. So, flavour. Cheers, Barry. Oh. Big bittering, big bittering on there. Made with Maris Otter, Centennial. It's keg conditioned actually, but there's still a, there's a, a bit floating about in the bottom there that's settled again. Flavor. Getting that, that lemon, that citrus on it as well and it's, uh, Getting the malt at the end, that bitterness starts midway in the drink and right at the back. But um, 40 days dry hopping, man. Never heard of such a length of time, but I tell you what, it ain't bad at all. It's almost like a like a toffee nose on that as well. Mmm. Flavour. I'm going to give that a five. And hop and grain. Centennial. I think they work quite well. So hop and grain. Out of five, a three. That's fifteen out of twenty-five. Cheers, Barry. On to the next one. Bring them on. <laughs>